Here are three of the latest uh, 1S batteries on the market. Uh, supposed to be the best. Um, so we've got the Cal RC, the Pro Series 100C, 8000 milliamp hours. You've got the IP SHV, 8000 milliamps, 100C. And you've got the Phantom Type R. 100C 7800 milliamps. So, first of all, we're going to weigh them. See, so all are the same size and they've all got 4 milliamp, um, 4 millimeter connector sockets. Um, okay, let's do the core first 152 grams. Uh, I'll do the Phantom, it's on my chart next. 157 grams. And then the IP, 155 grams. So, very, very similar. Next, I'm going to fully charge them up. Um, I might cycle them, it depends, uh, once, which means fully charging, fully discharging. I'll probably be best before I do the test and then fully charge them up and uh, take them straight off the charger and put them onto the discharger. Uh, fully charge the IP SHV to 4.2 volts. It's uh, not hot, so it's at ambient temperature. I've got the meter ready here. So as soon as I plug it in, I'll start taking the readings of the voltage and then uh, intervals on the milliamp hour meters and uh, write it down on this chart and then repeat with the others. So um, here we go, we plug it in. We've got an instant voltage of 3.78 showing the amps, it's 34, about 34 amps at the moment and at 600 milliamp hours it's uh, 3.72 just coming up to 3 ampere hours on the IP battery I've uh, been writing down the results it's showing 3.52 volts at the moment and uh, still holding 3.52 so I'll keep on going until that drops to uh, 3 volts uh, now and uh, keep the results on the chart and been recording them all on the chart at the different uh, milliamp settings so I'll keep going right to the end the uh, battery um, is beginning to heat up a bit so um, that's not unusual right it's at uh, gone over seven ampere hours at the moment and uh, what's the voltage when it hits three volts I'll disconnect it it's beginning to four and uh, see what the capacity is. Here we go. It's just about going to go flat right now. There we go. So, at uh, 3 volts, it made um, 7.4, say, 8 ampere hours. I'll make a note. And uh, the temperature, by the way, I can on the battery 40 degrees, so let's say 40 degrees C and 7. Point, uh, well, it's nearly 7.5, so we're around it, so 7.48 ampere hours at 3 volts. Uh, the results, we recorded all the results from that discharge one. Got the weight, the start voltage 378, and then all the way along at 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, till we get to 7.4 ampere hours when it hit 3.0 volts. I put it's 40 degrees C. Right, the Phantom's fully charged, just come off the charger. So we're going to start it up. Got the meter reset to zero. And 
Okay, it's 34 amps, gone to 3.85 volts. And then it's dropped to 3.78. And then I'll measure it as before, starting with 600 milliamp hours, and then every half. And then uh, eventually, seeing what the capacity is, um, this is a 7800. Okay, coming up to the end of the discharge on the Phantom. It's supposed to be a 7.8, it's been holding the voltage up uh, very well. And it's um, still holding at 7.5, which is past the IP, which uh, dropped off at 7.4. Yep, there it goes. 3.06. 3.06. So, just went over 8,000, so um, 8.05, 39 degrees. Right, got the core RC, just come off the charger, so we're going to start it up now. Initial voltage 3.85. That's dropped to 3.79 and at 600 milliamps etc. I'll do the results the same as the other ones and then also see what the uh, capacity is when it drops to 3.0 volts. Okay, the core RC is coming to the end of its discharge. It's past the 7 ampere hour mark. Um, the Phantom made 8 and the uh, IP only made 7.4 made 7.5 there it goes there you go, 3 made 7.59 ampere hours temperature, just check it out yeah, it's 40 degrees so that's the three uh, tested. I've, as a comparison to compare the new uh, 1S batteries against an old 1S battery like this one, which has um, which had a Deans on it. I've converted to sockets. Now they're just sockets. Uh, just to show uh, if you got an old battery, what it's like. So um, I'll just connect this up. Starts off at uh, 378, it's draw, fallen to 372. The old battery just went, just about to go flat at uh, there, 4.66 ampere hours. Finished all the testing on these uh, high power 1S uh, batteries. Uh, part of the latest breed of 100C rated um, high capacity batteries for racing. So I've done all the uh, tests as I, as you could have seen earlier in the video and recorded all the results for the three batteries the Core RC Pro, the Phantom Type R and the IP Intellect SHV. I also tested an old uh, 1S battery from a few years ago so uh, the weight, all very similar, around about 150 gram, even the old one was 151 grams. And uh, I started off, uh, fully charged them and put them onto the discharger. Now I ran them through twice just to make sure that there was no uh, errors in the results. The main thing you can see is that um, they're very, very similar. Uh, they all start off, um, remember this is on my test, so the voltage on your test might be slightly different. But um, as soon as they put, put, you put them on, there's a small drop after a few seconds, and then that holds. So 3.79, 3 78, they all seem to do that. And then at 600 milliamps, 1 ampere hour, 1.5, so on. Uh, the voltage is basically... Um, stay the same. The IP1 was the only one that changed on the second uh, run through. 
it improves slightly in a few places just at the turnover points here but otherwise um, a little bit better there so it seems to have benefited from a cycle now the end uh, results the actual capacity is interesting uh, the core RC one is supposed to be 8000 milliamps uh, recorded um, 7.59 7.45 so it never made the 7.8 uh, the phantom should be a 7.8 and actually recorded an 8 just over an 8000 and uh, again an 8000 second time round the IP also supposed to be an 8000 only recorded 7400 and 7500 so um, it's strange that the phantom one which is only a 7.8, actually uh, has a higher capacity than the other two, which are supposed to be 8. So um, temperature at the end, they're all about the same. They all reach about uh, nearly 40 degrees C, not much in it. Um, the old 1S didn't do too bad. Uh, as you can see, the voltage, as soon as it got going, was 359. It still works, and it's low all the way through. But the main point is it gave up at uh, 4,660 milliamp hours, 4.66. <laughs> so it's virtually only half the capacity of the new ones, which are eight. So in a few years' time, uh, they've managed to, uh, manufacturers have managed to double the capacity and increase the power rating, all in exactly the same size case and the same weight. So that's quite a, an advance. Um, anyway, the old batteries, so this is the sort of figure you'll, you probably get maybe when you test your your old batteries. If they're low like this, they're going to be uh, poor on the track compared to someone with one of these new ones. So, uh, which one to choose out of these three? Um, well, there doesn't seem to be really any difference. If you look at the price in the UK, um, the Core RC is approximately retails for, say, £40. The Phantom £50, the IP £38, so you might as well just buy uh, the cheapest one, either the IP or the Core RC one. There's no advantage in buying the Phantom. I mean, uh, over the racing, maybe you'll use 3 ampere hours and the voltage is the same, even for the voltage 5 ampere hours, the voltage should remain the same. So there's and at the start of the race, the voltages are the same. And um, you might as well buy the Core RC ones, the lightest as well. So um, there it is. Make your own conclusions. If I get other uh, batteries, I'll test. But I should imagine that the manufacturers in China have reached the peak with these batteries now. All the 100C batteries will probably be at identical performance. They may even be made at the same factory and just in different cases, but um, there's no variation 